I reckon I've got this building new gadget stuff off pat now. Let me explain. The process begins with me wandering into an unglamorous workshop and meeting a pair of skilled engineers. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Nice to meet you. Really, I'm excited to be here. Excellent. Ready for the big race. Nice to have you on the team. They then help me build something that starts out looking a bit rubbish, and we get laughed at by the opposition. But by the end of the day, it all comes good, our machine turns out to be a world beater, and we end up clutching trophies and spraying champagne. Brilliant! This time, the mission was to create a drag racer that used power tools for propulsion, then raced it against a whole field of other homemade power tool dragsters. My team were Declan Hicks, a professional drag racer who was runner-up in last year's event, and Kim Saunders, a logistics man. What have you got for me so far? I brought this. That's, um, that's great. Um, um, I think we're going to need something with a bit more power. Well, show me what you've got. Oh! <gasps> That's a, that's, a, that's a blower. That's yeah. an industrial specification leaf blower. OK. Which has got a rather nice Honda engine on, which we can tune up. Our leaf blower would provide 90 miles an hour of wind power, but we still needed to build a lightweight vehicle around it. For that, we use one of those kiddie bike frames that you put on the back of a normal bike. Fortunately, the leaf blower came with a special anti-vibration handle, which would be perfect as my handlebars. OK, it's really starting to take shape. Have a look at this. We've got our steering sorted out on our engine. Kim, if you give me a hand here. This slots on to the front like that, which means we can move around and the whole thing steers. And what we've got is a really cool-looking, proper low-rider chopper-style thing with school chair on the back. After just four hours' intensive welding, banging, cutting and tea drinking, I had myself a pretty neat-looking power tool drag racer. It could just be a winner, and we went to bed happy that night. It was race day, and as I rounded the corner into the hangar to check out the opposition, I felt yesterday's confidence drain away from me. Before me stood the most magnificent machines, an awesome four-geared trike powered by eight, yes, eight 100cc chainsaw engines and a truly amazing chainsaw-powered V12 go-kart, which packed an incredible 40-brake horsepower. Yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried. I thought we had this in the bag, but now I'm not so sure. And as I went out into the paddock, my fears continued when I was greeted by the terrifying sound of those engines. This was not going to be easy. The whole competition was looking more serious than I had anticipated. But engines can fail, throttles can stick, and chains can come off. At least that's what I told myself. Me and my leaf blower were going to give it our all. The race was far from over. I can really feel the tension. This is it. It's race time. There's no more time for tweaking. Come on, this is it. The noise was deafening. I couldn't hear a word of Kim's pep talk. And then we started. Three, two, one, go! We were allowed to push off the line and then the race was on. The fastest machine over the 300 metre track would be the winner. And then it was suddenly very clear to me just how quick the other teams were. They didn't only look good, they were good. Very good. Woo! All right! Oh, come on! Maybe I just discovered why we're not all driving leaf blowers. Oh, this is, this is very poorly thought out, this whole thing. <laughs> Oh, come on! My Leaf Blower's nine-horsepower engine and impressive-sounding computer-designed impeller seemed to count for nothing when the heat was on. And eventually, I limped over the line in last place. <laughs>